What is up guys, Max here, and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, we are comparing three different microphones. A $400 voiceover microphone, you see it in a lot of different videos. A $100 to $150 microphone, depending on which version you buy. There's two different versions of the same mic. One's $50 more for some reason. And as a baseline, we have a $34 microphone. I basically just kind of jumped on there, hit five star ratings, found a really cool, quick, cheap mic. It was gold and comes with a lot of accessories. So I was like, hey, this is kind of cool. But this will also be the first time that I'm listening to it to kind of give you a comparison. Now, in this comparison, I'm not editing this audio at all. If I do have any effects laid on all the audio for all the mics, it is the same effect that I'll use on each mic's track, etc. Like boosting the gain on each mic exactly the same, stuff like that, so you get a level playing field. Um, depending on the mic and how it's recorded, it may kind of take in a different way. So, so to start the comparison, We'll start with this mic and I'll read a line from something to kind of have a base on what it sounds like. And then we'll hook up the AT2020 right here, give that one a go, I'll give you my thoughts, and then we'll hook up the $34 mic and see what it sounds like. Let's get started. So I'm gonna read some dad jokes for the mic tests. I'm not real sure how that's gonna translate from a funny perspective, but it's like the first thing I Googled that I could think of, so here we go. This is the $400 SM7B mic test. Line reading number one. I can't believe I got fired from the calendar factory. All I did was take a day off. So this is the 99 to $150 AT2020 mic test. Take one. I can't believe I got fired from the calendar factory. All I did was take a day off. So this is the $34 microphone read. Take one. Well, I mean $34 microphone kit because it comes with all the other stuff. I don't know. Whatever. Take one. I can't believe I got fired from the calendar factory. All I did was take a day off. Okay, so that was all three mics. We have a $400 mic, a $100 to $150 mic, which is like middle quality in this case. The AT2020 sounds great. I'm not gonna say it doesn't. Especially, you know, I can guarantee two, three plus years, I've kind of lost track of abuse. This mic, you can hear it, it's shaky but it still works. I even carved my name into it, which is kind of cool. Now, I will say I used this mic for around two and a half years, almost three years. Constant use, making videos for YouTube, and I've enjoyed every minute of it. I did want to upgrade because the SMB, SM7B mic is cool for like podcasts, which is like a thing with some friends I'm doing, and it looks nice on a desk. It's just, it's just more sleek, smaller, and it does, in my opinion, sound better. But, I mean, it ought to sound better for a $400 mic versus a $100 mic. So, I mean, this mic has been great. I dropped it one time, and this entire top fell off. But me and my buddy Johnny put the top back on and just kind of super glued it back on. Mic seemed to work fine. Um, this is the, S the USB version, like I said before. And the only big downside to using a mic like this is that I have to constantly have, like, a pop card, which I get tired of. I have this in my face versus just, you know, having this in my face. Now, I will say with the AT2020, I have to kind of face it this way because I can't turn it unless I turn this whole mic stand and I don't feel like doing that. But there's a back and there's a front. So I'm going to stand too tall and do this line recording. Um, and then we have the $34.98 Z mic, which has raving reviews online. It's like the first thing I found. I just purchased it. Now we've switched back over to the Zoom F1 recorder, which is the little mic taped under my shirt. And I have this box that says microphone. So that's kind of cool. I know we're not big on unboxing videos, but I did think it was kind of neat that for only 34 bucks, you get all this stuff. So right here we have like a, what looks to be a USB adapter for mic line ends. Kind of neat. You have a pop guard, because clearly for lower quality mics, you need pop guards to throw on. It even has like a, a mic stand, which is crazy. It comes with a mic stand for your desk. I don't know quality-wise how long that's going to last. But if you're nice to those mics, they should have some time. <laughs> and then we also have uh, a... That is a XLR to little headphone jack cable for the USB-in thing. And then this is also a little uh, 
vibration guard for microphones, which people use all the time. It keeps all the little shakes out, which is actually really handy for a microphone like this. So we're gonna quickly attach this to here and attach this mic and see what it sounds like. Pop this into here and plug it up. This is what this mic sounds like. Um, my desk is a little shaky because it's all standing desky. Um, you can see the shaking, but it has a shock mount on it, so it should kind of like smooth out those shakes. Now, let's get down to business and read the line. I can't believe I got fired from the calendar factory. All I did was take a day off. Okay, so um, back over to the Zoom F1. I'm kind of like going to just take a dry listen to the uh, this mic and just see what it sounds like. I can't believe I got fired from the calendar factory. All I did was take a day off. Okay, first thought. Um, that actually sounds really good uh, for $34, which is kind of depressing because I spent 400. I mean, I will say that um, you see the SM7B microphone um, in a lot of podcasts. Every like famous musician on YouTube has this in front of their face and I personally don't have the ear to actually tell you what is better and what is not. Um, I think this mic sounds pretty darn good. Um, that being said, it's, I mean, definitely a mic you can start with for any situation if you're on a budget. This mic, first listen, sounds really good. And a little bit of post-processing, it's gonna sound even better. Now with the right setup, with the pop guard, it comes with like a little muffle thing to put on top. I mean, you're not gonna get much feedback. And um, in my apartment, there's a lot of like background noise and there's been background noise this whole time in this video. So you could probably tell, you know, which mic stands out the best from a quiet background noise. But before we go, I do wanna talk into this mic a little more. It's mine now, I did buy it. I'm gonna use it for things. I'm not sure what, but we'll use it for things. As you can see, I've switched back over to the SM7B and quickly I like, can grab it and move it and adjust it fast. I don't know if that's worth like an extra $300 for you because once you set your mic up, it's not a big deal. But for me, I, I guess that's helpful. It's not a bad thing if you're doing like a quick setup with other people on a desk like this on a little single mic stand would be kind of nice. I have one of those single mic stands that just sits on a desk. As you can see here, I have one of these, which is a simple $12 desk stand. You just screw it in, you know, whatever, put the mic on top, and I put this on this to record, like, podcasty type of stuff for my friends when I help them out. And, uh, you know, if I do it on my own, I can do that as well. Um, so this is pretty easy to have, like, a, a setup with two of these and two mics. I will say with, like, the AT2020 and the, uh, the let's call it the Z mic, because I can't pronounce that 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 name. Yeah, the Z mic for 34 bucks. Although they're great, you do need a little bit more. You need like the pop guard, all that stuff all set up in your face so you can actually talk nicely. Um, apples to apples, when you have a setup for each one close in a closed space, all three mics, you're not gonna have any issues with at all. They all sound great. Um, I guess in a more professional setup for clients, stuff like this, an SM7B looks a lot nicer and you know, clients care about how things look, apparently. That's what I hear. So that's another thing to think about when you're going to purchase these mics. Um, for a home studio, AT2020, the Z mic, I think are great. And the Z's extremely great. If you're kind of new to this type of work and you're not working with a giant budget, 34 bucks, boom. That is awesome. That is actually pretty great. <laughs> um, I'd definitely buy that and buy it again. But I honestly, I could ramble on and try to make this video 10 minutes. I don't know if it's 10 minutes yet because, you know, like ads on YouTube, I don't really pay that much attention. Um, that's all I have for three microphones and three different price points. I've accumulated these mics over a couple of years. So, I mean, take it with a grain of salt. I had the AT2020 for a long time. I had no issues with it. I recently upgraded to this because I'm trying to do more advanced professional work with this kind of mic. I'm not singing or playing music. I'm doing work for clients, stuff like that. And then for the dry comparison, I did go with the Z mic, which I think is a great option for anyone. And if you are interested in any one of these microphones, 
I will leave a link down in the description to each one. Amazon and b &H. It's affiliate links. So if you do purchase one, I get a small commission at no cost to you, which is a huge support for me. Thank you so much. And it helps me continue to continue making videos, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Thank you. Now that you've made it towards the end of the video, we can do the giveaway. Most people just kind of click off really fast and I'm not about that life. So if you stayed this long, you deserve a chance to be a part of this video. And if you want to participate in the giveaway, just hop down into the description and sign up. It's as easy as that. Um, so I'll have the giveaway up for like 30, 40 days or whatever I decide to do. Sign up for it. Really simple. And if you win, I'll send you one of these mics free of charge. My gift to you. The Goonies. I love the Goonies. So, as always, I'm Max. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for being a part of the channel. Thank you for sticking towards the end of this video to catch the giveaway. <laughs> Other than that, I guess I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.